Hi, Gary Stearman. Time for another update from Prophecy in the News. It is Tuesday, the 24th of April, and from time to time we've commented on the fact that uh, society is rapidly slipping away from its Christian underpinnings, and there are all sorts of signs that this is happening. One of them comes from a report here that I'm going to share with you from One News Now, and I quote, a former Navy chaplain who fights to defend religious freedom says it's an outrage that Air Force officials appear ready to remove a requirement for Bibles to be placed in on-base lodging rooms. Uh, we're talking about the Air Force here, and each Air Force base has a system of lodging, whether it's a, an on-base motel or hotel. Pilots flying from one, one base to another need a, a, a room. Uh, occasionally, they stay, stay there for several days. Often, it's just overnight. But those rooms are beautifully furnished, and one of the Air Force requirements has been that each room have a Bible. We have a report here uh, from a Georgia newspaper that officials with Air Force services operations have apparently agreed in principle to remove the requirement that Bibles be placed in on-base lodging by the Gideons. That report, although disputed somewhat by an Air Force spokesman, comes following protests from a group called, and I quote, the Military Association of Atheists and Freethinkers, end quote. The MAAF, Military Association of Atheists and Freethinkers. The MAAF claimed that the placement of Bibles in on-base rooms was a special privilege for Christianity, and an Air Force agency said that a legal review showed no requirement to have Bibles in the lodging checklist. The atheist group, which says it had been con uh, contacted by a cockpit atheist uh, at Kadena Air Base in Japan, had complained that the accreditation checklist specifying the exact contents of a room included a Bible. Of course, those Bibles traditionally placed by the Gideons uh, even as they do in motel rooms all across the United States. Air, an Air Force official describes that list as, quote, an extensive 1,200-item checklist used by innkeepers to ensure that uh, standards are being met and maintained. The reference in the checklist is in the form of a question. Is a Bible provided? So that's part of outfitting a uh, traditionally uh, kept room on post. <clears throat> Dr. Gordon Klingenschmidt, former Navy chaplain who runs uh, the Pray in Jesus Name project, by the way, that's the name of his project, says this is just another example of the military bowing to the demands of atheist complainers who oppose religious freedom. The Air Force is apparently complicit to this. He says, I don't know if they're removing the Bibles, but at least they're removing them from the checklists. And the result is that whoever cleans the room is no longer required to check, make sure that a Bible is in place. Klingenschmidt laments the possible fallout. He says, so if somebody steals one of those Bibles, or if they're confiscated by atheist complainers or put in the trash, then sadly, Christian people will not have access to read the Bible at night before they fall asleep. Traditionally, you know, a, a Bible is placed bedside for devotional purposes, and now the Air Force apparently is wiping out that, uh, that regulation. An official says the Air Force has not directed the removal of Bibles themselves from Air Force inns, although a revised checklist will begin to take effect on October 1st of this year. The big October surprise coming from the Air Force. He said they will continue to review the situation. One of the signs of the latter days that we read about in several places in the Bible uh, is best found, I think, in uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, verse 10. Paul writes to Timothy uh, about doctrine. A and Paul was very, very big, as you know, on sound doctrine. Without sound doctrine, you really don't know what you're doing. Uh, and he writes to Timothy, starting in verse 10 of chapter 4 of 2 Timothy, But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, 
long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured. But out of them, out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Jesus Christ. And then he closes with these well-known words. Verse 16 says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God, is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And so that's what uh, Paul thinks of Scripture as he writes to Timothy. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. Uh, you need to, to stay in the Scriptures, and it's very necessary for a Christian to stay in Scriptures. It's nice to have a Bible, I think, in a motel room. It would be wonderful if the Air Force regulation uh, that would place a, a Gideon Bible in each motel room on each base uh, would continue to be observed. Uh, it looks like that's going to run out now in the near future. But the point is, stay in Scripture. Uh, if you happen to be in the Air Force and you happen to be taking note of my words right now, you might file some sort of a complaint uh, through your local legal office. Uh, it's very possible that, that someone will hear your voice, but at the very least, uh, carry a Bible. Stay in Scripture, even if there's not a Bible in that room, because all Scripture, writes Paul, is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Well, that's point and the and the end point which bears repeating in order that the man of god may be perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works uh, staying in scripture is very important and of course the devil knows that which is why i think he would be eager to remove the influence of the bible from the armed forces and actually he's done a pretty good job of uh, realizing that goal up to now Pray for those in the military, those in service uh, to our country, uh, that the, the, the Spirit of the Lord will remain among them until the very last. Gary Stearman reminding you to watch the things that are happening in this world. They're happening quickly, and it looks like the Lord may be coming soon for His own. And that's why we always say, keep looking up. Keep looking up.